I'm Ted Keyes in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my Tuesday conference call, a free high-powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top producing freight agents. Go to tedkeysonline.com for complete call information. Then join us weekly to see new, serious, struggling, and experienced sales professionals move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly, and make more money financially. So watch my recorded call topic highlighted there on your screen right now. Then go to tedkeysonline.com and hear more podcasts. Read more blog posts, watch more videos, and while you're there, visit my Freight Sales Success Store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. Enjoy watching and applying my Tuesday conference call. I'm gonna get going on the call today. Hello and welcome to my Tuesday conference call. I'm Ted Keyes, your top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. This is a free high powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top producing freight agents at 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time. On the call today, I'll show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you make more money financially. And after the call, go to my website tedkeysonline.com to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. Once you arrive at my freight sales success store, you'll see a host of products available. First one you'll see there is my flagship product. That is my freight sales success guide for beginner and struggling freight agents. If you're searching for that daily motivation to keep you on the phone, connecting with the marketplace, then go for my freight sales success quotes. And if you're searching for specific skills, and believe me, this profession requires hundreds of them, then opt for my freight sales success skills. Again, all three products are available for purchase today at my freight sales success store. And while you're there taking in all this free information at my website, go to the contact page. Just click on the contact link. It's going to take you to my contact page. When you get there, enter your contact details. By doing that, you'll receive your, week, your weekly email invite to this and every call. Along with that, you'll receive my free attachments free attachments that I provide on each and every call. Also, in addition to that, I'm gonna give you my free report, 11 ways freight agents will increase their income. This report has been downloaded thousands of times before. And if you have any questions today involving the call, what I went over, or more specifically, are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team? then give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. Today's training topic is how to overcome freight sales rejection. How to overcome freight sales rejection. So for those of you that are on my email contact list and you've received one or several email invites to this call, just go to any one of those email invites and scroll down to the bottom and you'll see there are a number of attachments down there that we are going to go over today. Let's just go ahead and open up that first attachment. Now, in this profession, just like in any other sales profession, you're going to experience rejection. Okay, now what I mean by that is I'm not really talking about objections, meaning people will object to things that you say, things that you do. In this case, flat out rejection. The individuals will just not want to deal with you for whatever reason that is. I'm going to talk about how to overcome, again, how to overcome freight sales rejection. So just go ahead and open up that first attachment and we're going to go over this attachment now. If there was one topic that I would say that I have the authority to discuss, it would be rejection. Throughout my freight sales and training journey, I face many ups and downs. At times the downs seem more than the ups, which can be overwhelming. 
And trust me, you will go through it the same, provided your goal is to be successful and that you make strides toward becoming successful in this profession. Rejection, again, flat out rejection has historically been reviewed as a form of failure. It's been just reviewed as a form of failure. Unfortunately, when we get rejected, we're the ones that view it as failure. How many times have you felt that your performance was good enough only to find yourself looking for the answers to your unexpected rejection? Good question. Getting rejected is part of life and something all freight sales agents must accept. We just got accepted. It's going to happen in our profession and in our lifetime, guys. Rejection is one of the most brutal stakes to the heart because it deals, it deals a direct hit to our ego, unfortunately. There are a few experiences more painful than being rejected. Dealing with rejection can be tough. A lot of individuals choose physical pain, believe it or not, rather than facing rejection or being rejected. Our basic human need to belong causes these incidents to stick with us throughout the years if and only we allow them to. If and only we allow them to. Let me be very clear on that. Glory seems to be the furthest thing from rejection. They're flat out opposites. Little do most people know it's the flip side of the coin. Often people who think, often people who you think have it all are people that have endured the most rejection, believe it or not. The more successful somebody is, meaning me, meaning you, whoever's listening on the call today, and I know there's a few of you, the more successful you are, the more you will face rejection. That is a guarantee. That's a guarantee. Not everyone who's on top today got there with success after success. Their beginnings weren't always smooth and they often had to go, they often had to face great obstacles and ridicule along the way and in the process. The one thing, again, the one thing successful freight sales agents have in common though is their approach to dealing with freight sales rejection. This is something all successful freight sales agents go to and that is their way of dealing with it. They don't let the naysayers hinder them. They may get knocked down, but they regroup and come back better and stronger. More than often, they share one characteristic in common and that is the commitment to their own success. Commitment to their own success. Rejection is unavoidable in a creative life. And believe me, we have to be creative. We are creators. We are creating a freight sales professional, a successful one at that. And dealing with a rejection keeps you from plummeting into a place of immobilizing despair. So, just a few points there on how to overcome freight sales, rejection. And again, this is just flat out, let me repeat myself. Rejection is just flat out where people will not deal with you. And I'm gonna get into it soon about the flip side of that. There is absolutely some positive aspects to being rejected. However, before I do that, let me go over some tips. First of all, some tips to overcome freight sales rejection. The first tip, the first tip you have to have is to have a vision and don't let anyone deter you from it. Have a vision and don't let anyone, anybody deter you from it. As Abraham Lincoln says, when you reach the end of the rope, tie a knot and hang on. Boy, he could not have explained it better about dealing with rejection. Take courage and put full steam into the next opportunity that you're working on, plain and simple. So tip number one is have a vision and don't let anyone, anybody deter you from it. Second tip is keep a positive mental attitude and always stay motivated. Always stay motivated. As Oscar Wilde says, believe in yourself and there will come a day when others will have no choice but to believe with you. Not only believe, but believe what you're believing. Pick up the pieces and dust yourself off when it happens. Furthermore, don't keep complaining about it. Don't keep going back wondering, gee, what went wrong there? When you keep picking at a scab, the wound will, 
the wound will just keep bleeding and unfortunately you'll never heal. So tip number two is keep a positive mental attitude and stay motivated. Bear with me, folks. Third tip, third tip to overcome freight sales rejection is there are valuable life lessons that you must learn. You've got to learn these. Uh, I mean, again, rejection and learning lessons is all part of our successful process to becoming successful freight sales agents. These lessons will equip you for the next phase of your journey. Ask yourself, anytime this ever happens, ask yourself, as tough as it may be, just ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? And what did I learn from this? And not only that, but what am I learning from this? It's time to pick up the phone and connect with more prospects. So after you've learned it, again, pick up the phone. Don't let it stop you. Pick up the phone and continue to connect with more prospects. Continue to build that valuable sales list, that contact list that I continually talk about. The, th the, the fourth point. The fourth point is nothing happens before it's time. Let me say that again. Nothing happens before it's time, except that it wasn't meant for you at that particular point in time. You've got to accept that. Not only that, but you have to realize I've got more work to do here. When we get rejected, we trap ourselves in a moment of doubt and distress. Only when you stick around and you stick in that, 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 that state of mind. So don't feel sorry for yourself and slump into an attitude of self-pity. So the fourth point is nothing happens before it's time. Point number five. Point number five is rejection gives you time to evolve and learn from your experiences. It, it allows you to, uh, it allows, it gives you time to evolve because, hey, this profession is a profession of evolvement. We start off with nothing. We continue to be creative and building and, and all we do is hit success along the way. So one thing to focus on is to focus on your personal development. That is spiritual, emotional, mental, social, and physical. So point number five is rejection gives you time to evolve and learn from your experiences. The sixth point, sixth point, point is this is the most one of the most important points one of the most important tips to overcome sales uh, rejection is don't take it personally let me say that again don't take it personally let me repeat myself don't take it personally as steve pavlina quotes if you want something ask for it accept the risk of rejection and summon the courage to ask for it anyway rejection is not a measure of your self-worth remember that when somebody rejects you they're acting on their own insecurities and their own fears that's the flip side of this when somebody flat out rejects you it's them with the problem believe it or not you don't have the problem they're just taking their problems their fears and their insecurities out on you so let me say it again once or twice don't take it personally don't take it personally. It's the individual that's rejecting you that actually has the issue or the problem. Uh, tip number seven, I believe. Tip number seven, one second here. Yeah, tip number seven is don't overthink the rejection. Don't overthink the situation that you just went through. Don't torture yourself repeatedly, relieving the, uh, reliving those moments that you felt like you were humiliated. Don't beat yourself up and keep replaying the circumstances surrounding the issue. So tip number seven is don't overthink the rejection or what you feel was the rejection. Tip number eight, give thanks for the bullets you dodged. Give, let me say that again. Give thanks for the bullet you dodged because of the rejection or, or a, as a result of the rejection. When you look back, you're going to say, thank God, you didn't settle for less. There was much better in store. So that goes, that goes two ways. You could say, hey, boy, thank goodness I'm not going to deal with him. Or you could think, hey, I'm going to keep pursuing this guy because I know 
that once I get through to him, he will finally work with me. Tip number nine, be aware of your reaction to rejection. Tip number nine is be aware of your reaction to rejection. Life isn't fair, so don't develop, uh, life isn't fair, so develop thicker skin. I'll say it again, this in our profession, we gotta have thick skin because why this is going to happen to us. Don't let anyone's opinion of you change your attitude or take away your smile. Boy, when you can act like it was just nothing and brush it off, you have come to the right place. You are climbing that mountain of success. Adversity may, t may make or break you, but it certainly reveals who you are. So tip number nine, be aware of your reaction to rejection. Last tip, last tip, tip number 10 is have faith and trust God to direct your steps. That's an important one. One of the most important ones is tip number 10, have faith and trust God to direct your steps. Hold on folks. Things may look dismal. You may get disappointed, but don't be discouraged. Remember, this is not the end of the world. Nobody reached through the phone line and grabbed your neck and started choking you. When one door closes, another one opens, just keep opening. Sooner or later, the right door will open. You'll mature and be better prepared to function in your new role. So 10 great tips to overcome freight sales objection. Let's, let me just keep reading on to finish up this attachment here, guys. And let's talk about the benefits. Believe it or not, there are benefits of freight sales rejection. What do we got here? I've got six, I've got five benefits to go over real quickly here. Benefit number one, is freight sales rejection. It gets you fired up as it gives you something to prove. It gets you fired up as it gives you something to prove. Moreover, prove to yourself than to anybody else. Harrison Ford, let me just give you an example. Harrison Ford in his first film, Ford was told by the movie execs that he didn't have what it takes to be a star. Believe it or not, Harrison Ford was told that at one point in his life. It added fire to the fuel as it gave him something to prove to these executives. So, first benefit, gets you fired up as it gives you something to prove. The second benefit, benefit number two, is it makes you more creative. Again, provided that you keep moving forward. If you quit and give up, believe me, your creativity is going nowhere. So hang in there as uh, benefit number two is it makes you more creative. Another example, in 1919, Walt Disney was fired, believe it or not, from the Kansas City Star. All right, according to his editor, quote, he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Always find ways to market yourself and your service. As you find ways to market yourself and your service, something that is definitely required, you're just gonna get more creative along the way. Just like I give these conference calls to you. This is not how I gave my first conference call, but as I give more and more, I get more creative, more, more uh, positive, and, uh, and uh, this is just what happens when you move forward in a new venture. So uh, benefit number two is it makes you more creative. Now the third benefit, benefit number three, is it makes you work harder. It makes you work harder, okay? There's a reason you're rejected. <clears throat> as Michael Jordan, again, another example is Michael Jordan quotes, I think by not making the varsity team drove me to work at my game and also taught me that if you set goals and work hard to achieve them, the hard work pays off. So the third benefit of rejection, provided you don't give up and you keep moving forward, is it makes you work harder. Fourth benefit, fourth benefit of, uh, of rejection is it develops your character. It builds your character and develops your character. Your response to freight sales rejection shows how to respond when things don't go your way. Are you able to let go or do you become resentful? You'll also be more supportive to others facing similar struggles. Trust me, 
it is not you when this happens. It happens to all of us. Don't just think that, boy, this, this one incident happened to me and that's all it happened to. So as you get better, be, better and better at this and you're able to train down the line, you can, you can tell your trainees or who it is you're talking to that they will have similar struggles. Why? Because you went through the same thing. Fifth tip to uh, the, the fifth benefit to uh, freight sales rejection is it builds strength. It builds strength. Again, we're going back to Abraham Lincoln. He's remembered as one of our greatest leaders. However, rejection followed him much of, much of his early life. It did, however, prepare him to handle ridicule in the public eye. And believe me, as he went through his presidency, when most of it was about the Civil War, he, he, just like any president, but him more, he, 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 uh, he experienced ridicule after ridicule in, in the decisions that he was making. So, to wrap this up, to wrap this up with a great point, remember, although the road may seem long and winding, there's a prize waiting at the finish line for you and all those who rejected you will have to join in applauding you. Never give up for you just may be one step away from, a, from achieving your dream. That's the most important thing that I can say. Never give up. You're just one step away from achieving your dream. So great topic today, how to overcome freight sales objection. That's basically how you do it. That's, that's how you do it. So read this attachment again, this free attachment over and over and over again. Let's move on to that second attachment. And again, that free list of attachments that I provided down at the end of that email invite that I sent you today. Let's go over some motivation to, to wrap this up. Second attachment reads, remember when you're calling again, and these points tie in perfectly with freight sales rejection. So remember when you're calling your prospects and customers to always recognize and appreciate people. Always recognize and appreciate our customers. Always recognize and appreciate your freight prospects. By doing that, you will be, you will be more apt to overcome the, uh, these, these types of situations. Not only that, but by uh, recognize and appreciate individuals, that's just going to make you more of a, of a positive human being. So remember when you're calling your prospects and customers, regardless of who it is, and what happened to you on the call, always recognize and appreciate whatever happened on the call, whether it's good or bad. Again, you have to view it in the way that you view it. Let's go ahead and open up that third attachment. That third attachment reads, hold on folks. The third attachment reads, bear with me. Remember when you're calling your prospects and customers that rejections, believe it or not, uh, the, the, this isn't just the other person. You have something to do with this. Rejections are an indication that your business model is broken. Typically, we receive these comments at the beginning of our freight sales career. Why do we receive these comments? Well, first of all, remember, excuse me. <coughs> remember, the same shipping decision makers that you're calling are receiving a lot of calls from other individuals as well. Because they've done this so many times, they can spot a beginner a long mile away. And unfortunately, a lot of these folks are going to want to rush you off the line. Okay, so if you're if you're uh, receiving rejections, it's an indication that your business model is broken. So initially, that's the indication that your business model really hasn't even started to grow yet. You haven't started to build your foundation. So again, you've got to build that foundation. You've got to experience these things. Again, shipping decision makers know who they're speaking to because they've done this so many times before. If you, if you call them and you um and you're ah and you well your, your, yourself through your conversation, they know that you're a beginner. So again, if you're being rejected, it's just a sign that your business model is broken. All you have to do is when it happens, pick up the pieces, put them together again and improve on what happened. 
So one more time, rejections are an indication that your business model is broken. Remember, remember, remember that. Let's go to attachment number four, folks. Attachment number four reads, remember when you're calling your prospects and customers, the harder it is to get a prospect on the phone. This goes hand in hand with what I just said. Let me repeat this again. The harder it is to get a prospect on the phone, the easier it is they'll buy from you when they do. The harder it is to get a prospect on the phone, the easier it is they'll buy from you, they'll utilize your freight sales service when they actually do get on the phone. So that's one of the most important things that you can remember when you're being rejected. Again, early on, hey, the, you're not gonna think, I'm not gonna call that person again. What you're going to think is, I am gonna continue calling this individual until he gets on the phone. Because when he does get on the phone, he's going to be easier to deal with. I'm going to show him that I've got what it takes. I've got the perseverance and the determination to keep calling this gentleman, this, uh, this individual, this lady. Uh, I'm showing them that I've got, I've got what it takes to be successful in this profession. Now on the flip side, if you get through to somebody right away, trust me, they're, they're talking that way to everybody and there's a high probability that they're being nice to you because they want to continue to grow their freight list so they can send their loads out to as many individuals as they can. And in the process, all these individuals are going to be competing. Uh, all these individuals are going to be competing for a short uh, list of loads. Again, individuals op uh, operate certain ways. So if you get through easily, that's not a good sign. If the individual is being difficult, trust me, that's the better person to go after, the more difficult individual, because once you get through, the easier it is that they will buy from you when you do. Let's move on to that fifth attachment. Fifth attachment that I provided for you, that free attachment, open it up. Remember when you're calling your prospects and customers to be a threat to your business environment, to be a threat. Now, can you be a threat early on? No. You've got to develop the skills to get there. But once you're there, be a threat to your business environment. Then it won't threaten you. Then you won't get these rejections. Again, build that foundation, continue to build, you know, layer upon layer upon layer, develop the required skills to be successful. When you do that, you actually become a threat to your business environment. People are looking at you as if, hey, this guy, this gal has got it going on. So be a threat eventually, not initially, but be a threat to your business environment, then it won't threaten you. Then you won't get those rejections that you've been getting. Let's move on to that next one. Folks, that second to last one, attachment number six, that is remember when you're calling your prospects and customers that great entrepreneurs Know how to stay focused and distraction free. Rejections, objections, they're just, they're distractions, especially a rejection. Again, objection, that's a different story, but when, when somebody flat out rejects you, that's a distraction, okay? What you have to do is you have to stay focused and keep those distractions out of your way of thinking, out of your vocabulary. So again, remember when you're calling your prospects and customers, great entrepreneurs. Let me stress that again, great entrepreneurs, the really successful ones, the great freight sales agents, they know how to stay focused and distraction free. Don't let these rejections get you off course. Stay focused, get these distractions, you know, realize they happen, learn from them and move on. Let's go ahead and open up that last attachment, that last free attachment that I've provided here for you on this, my Tuesday conference call today. And that is remember, again, remember when you're calling your prospects and customers to never, ever, ever give up. Regardless of what happens, again, there will never come a time where somebody will reach through the, through the phone and grab you, grab your throat, grab any part of you. So just knowing that never, ever, ever give up. 
uh, in, in in this profession and in life. If you have a dream that you're that you're working toward, don't give up. Keep working toward that dream. These things will happen along the pathway to that dream. I can't stress this enough. Remember when you're calling your prospects and customers to never, 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 ever give up. So I'm going over our topic today, how to overcome freight sales rejection. That's how you overcome freight sales rejection. You just gotta keep moving forward. I'll say it again, this will happen guaranteed. I guarantee that this will happen to you. The question is, how will you handle it? In concluding my call, in concluding, in closing and concluding my call today, let me just ask you this. Do you want to receive the email invites in those free attachments that I provide for this in every call? Yes. Then go to tedkeysonline.com forward slash contacts and all you have to do is enter your contact details. Do you have any questions about the call today? Any specific questions about what I went over? Or specifically, are you ready to join our top freight sales team? I should say our, I'm, I, I missed out. Are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team. There's a reason why you got on this call today. You got on this call today because you knew you were in for some solid freight sales training. Well, believe me, when you're on our team, you get this constantly. If that's your desire to become a successful freight sales agent, then give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. Great topic today. Thanks for joining me today on my Tuesday conference call. I will see you all again next Tuesday, same time, 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time. Take care. God bless. I'll see you all again next week. Take care. God bless. And bye-bye. You've just taken a tremendous step forward by watching and applying my Tuesday conference call highlight. Do you desire to earn and learn with our top freight team and Christian-based office? Yes? We're searching for a self-starter who's serious, motivated, and ready to take action right now. Is that you? Go to tedkeysonline.com slash contacts and enter your contact details. We provide top-notch freight agent sales training to you. Then you deliver those same skills with confidence to the freight industry marketplace. I'll talk to you soon.